Hey guys, welcome back. This is part three of my Italy vlog. I hope you enjoyed the last two episodes. On this one, I'm gonna show you what the Duomo of Milan and the Galleria is like when it's completely empty. Hope you will enjoy it. We arrived at Pompeii. It is an ancient city that was built in the 6th century before Christ and it was destroyed in the year 79 by a disastrous volcano eruption and um, they found this city. It was buried under the ashes and all the debris for like 1,800 years or something like that before they found it in 1700. And uh, so it is really special because it is kept so well all these years. You, it was a, like a city for like 20,000 people. But when they found it, it was so well kept that they could see all the temples, the shops, the restaurants, the streets. There was no drainage system, right? They were able to figure out how they did it in the, you know, in the, in the back of times and like thousands of years ago. So it is so well kept. So in this town, they found temples, restaurants, shops, homes, everything. Theater, which we are looking at right now. This was the drainage system. It's so well preserved that you can still see the colors of these paintings. Maybe it was a shop. We just arrived at the Pro Lounge here at Naples Airport. Uh, it is a small airport and the lounge is very, very crowded, but it looks like they do still have some decent food though for lunch, especially like um, grilled vegetables, um, some bread, ooh, and fresh mozzarella. Perfect. And of course, tons of Prosecco and yogurts and fruits. This is the breakfast provided by BA. So I'm having my champagne. We will be in Milan actually in less than an hour. Arrived in Milan and now we're going to the hotel. My very last stop before I head home to Hong Kong. This time, because my time in Milan is very short, although there aren't much to do in Milan for me, I still chose to stay very, very central. So central that just wait until you see the view. <laughs> so central that I decided to stay in the Galleria. Well, kind of within the Galleria. Just steps away from Duomo, which I plan to go very early in the morning to get a picture. This is the Galleria of Milan. Full name, I think is Galleria Victorio Emerald the second of course I might be wrong <laughs> but um, every everyone actually just call it the Galleria Milan Milano it is I think around 150 years old I do think this is absolutely the most beautiful shopping arcade in the world I think there's nowhere else that can be compared to this the glass roof the facade so pretty let me go into the middle of the Galleria and try to take a 180 spin from the Asmo Pocket 3 And now we are walking to see the most iconic landmark of Milan. We are at the Duomo of Milan. The most iconic spot in all of Italy, I think. Well, actually, no. All of Italy should be Colosseum. Or I, then this is the most iconic in all of Milan then. But it is definitely one of the most beautiful church in the world. For sure, top five in my opinion. Although I'm not going in today, 
I will still like to tell you a little bit about Duomo. The construction started in the 14th century and it continued for many, many years. Of course, nothing like La Sagrada Familia and Barcelona, but still it took so many years to build this Gothic church. The statues, the spires, and the facade. Oh, if you can just see the details in person. Even just on the arc here. The first time I came to Milan was 12 years ago, I think, 12. And at that time, I stayed in a hostel. I wanted to experience what it's like to stay in a hostel. I actually went there as well, the apparel, Terenza. I did um, gone to the Last Supper. This is the legit shopping streets here in Milan. You know how when you are in a on a street or in an area where constantly there are really good looking people, very well dressed people. Well this is the street. The weather is just so perfect here in Milan today. It's 23 degrees Celsius. Sunny, not cold, not hot, just enough breeze. It's so beautiful. The weather. And the city too. After so many weeks of traveling in different countries, I actually do miss Chinese food. For once, I'm going to admit, so I walked by the street and I saw this dumpling house. Steamed dumplings. So, sometimes it's not so much about the taste, I just I miss it a lot. <laughs> they call it ravioli in Italian. This is no ravioli. <laughs> I think it is pretty good, um, except that of course in Asia, the skin of the dough would be a lot thinner. And guys, this is how crowded the gallery is during any given hour unless it's like 4 a.m. so pretty much anytime you go I, I mean at least well if it is like 9 10 a.m. it's not gonna be like this because the shops are not open yet but anytime after like 10 30 11 you're gonna see this so much people seriously it's very very busy in just a few more minutes, I'm going to show you what the Galleria and the Duomo looks like without all the tourists. So just stay until the end. So we arrived at a restaurant just right next to the Duomo. I didn't make any reservation as you know, I found out I was coming like yesterday. Uh, the restaurant is called Giacoma here. It is literally right next to the church and it's really beautiful actually. So I'm going to have like a, just a small entree and of course my wine. For me, I always like a balsamic vinegar that has very thick consistency like this. And I'll show you really quick. It's a lot thicker, so sometimes I always say like you can tell if a restaurant is good by the vinegar that they use, especially in Europe because it's, you know, so cheap. <laughs> because the aged ones are a lot, a lot higher price than their age. Good night. Morning guys. Slept two hours trying to see if I can catch the church with the, like a lot of people. So I guess even waking up at 4.30 is not early enough because there are at least like 30 people here. Yeah, so let's try.
very bright morning here. <laughs> no, very early morning. See, I cannot even speak correctly. It's not empty, empty, but it won't. It would never be because、uh, I heard many homeless sleep here as well. So let's try to get a picture. Yay! So it's finally time for breakfast. So let's see what they offer. There's a buffet, perfect. Bread and pastries, fruits, yogurt, cheese, and cold meat. Buongiorno. Cereal and bread, toast. Okay, and I think that's it. Already, oh, I will be getting some of this pineapple. It is now 8:20. I finished my photos already. But if you do want a picture with the duo more, not next to all the people, <laughs>、uh, you do have to wake up very, very early.、Uh, and now you can see that the Galleria is already getting a little bit crowded. Not crowded yet. And、uh, now after breakfast, I'm gonna head to the airport and head back to Hong Kong. Now, I will end the vlog. So something so funny just happened. I mean, it didn't happen, but it occurred to me. I have always been—I have never ever been like early, early, early for a flight. I'm usually I make it barely on time, or、uh, yeah, and yeah. Sometimes I'm a couple hours early, and that's about it. And、um, I haven't slept for many days actually for this、um, whole entire three weeks. Only two, three hours sometimes, or especially for the past few nights. So I just got to the Milan airport, and I found out I don't see my flight on the board. And I was like, "Huh, what, what's going on here?" And <laughs> I found out that my flight is actually tomorrow. Now that is the first I flew over 15 years, and I have never been a day early at the airport. <laughs> Yeah, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you find my video easy to watch, please like and subscribe because it would mean a lot to me. This is the Junior Suite at Sheraton Malpasa MXP. Walkable distance to both Terminal One and Two. Pretty nice. It's got spa, swimming pool. Restaurant, very convenient. Okay, so now is the happy hour at the Sheraton Milan Airport. We have some cold meat, some dried tomatoes with ham. What I came for, the wine and prosecco, juices, water, and fruits. Okay, not too bad. Good morning. This is the breakfast bread salad bar with cold meat, and let's start on the other side first. Some fruits, and then the yogurt station. Different types of milk, bread, pizza. Well, I mean, we're in Italy after all. Muffins with all assorted pastries, and then cookies, baked beans, bacon, pork sausages with potatoes, falafel, eggs. Fresh mozzarella cheese that I had a lot at the lounge yesterday with assorted cheese, Swiss cheese. Ah,、uh, actually, this is one of my favorite cheese, Edamame cheese. We have sparkling wine here at this breakfast. So, with, with, if it is champagne, I would never necessarily put orange juice in it. But then they told me this is fresh orange juice. So anyway, long story short, I got to the airport yesterday, and I found out that my flight is actually today. So it was so fun. I was in such a rush. Finally boarded my flight to Hong Kong. So. Yes, since I forgot that my flight is today instead of yesterday, so it's just funny with what happened. So, thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys in Hong Kong.